eyes close and dreams go free Got an angel next to me Namaste and like catch my family and welcome to another episode of the Cosmic Surfer series. I am Rion. And I'm Isabella Green. And we are here to explain three amazing ET species for you guys. You guys may, maybe have heard many amazing things about these different uh, beings and where they come from. The first beings I'd like to talk about are the beings from Cassiopeia. So with the beings of Cassiopeians, I should say, the main thing I've noticed in interacting with them, they're very elegant, very royal. Absolutely. They are very, guys, don't, try not to try so hard. <laughs> yes. Try not to mess, make it such a mess. Exactly. They're almost like, <laughs> like a very maybe casual stepmom, you know, <laughs> like, like your dad, your parents remarried and you have like this elegant, like heiress stepmom. <laughs> Please, Billy. Don't put trash in the ocean. Exactly. We're all watching you. Please don't embarrass yourself. Um, they're very elegant. They're very royal. They're very beautiful. Um, right. A lot of the most amazing things and qualities of Cassiopeians are as follows. High, very, very high levels of not only intelligence, but morality. Right. They are um, what you would like to call uh, beings of justice, beings of balance. Mm -hmm. They're older. Okay, so they're not going through the Milky Way galaxy <laughs> or the 3D growth spurt. Like we're all going through puberty down here. Right. Oh my God, what's this? And oh my God, what's that? Yeah. But these Cassiopeians, they kind of remind me in this image of, um, gosh, that new movie that came out. Uh, forget the name of it. I'll put it up there. Boom. Some of these upper dimensional beings and species obviously will kind of shift their outward appearance. Cause obviously if you're an energetic being of the upper dimensions, I like to have like not only all the face stuff, but they actually, when it lights up, you're like, Hey bro, what are you doing? <laughs> or like imagine like flirting with a girl on another planet. You're just like throwing her the like one, two, three lines. Like, Hey babe. See this? Illuminescence. You see, you see me looking at you right now? Is this a yes or a no? It's basically <laughs> like a facial tinder. Right. You know, you can look at someone and their face can light up. Hey, swipe left. Swipe right. You know? So we try to explain these things in a very comical way for you guys to understand that many of these upper dimensionals and many of these other aspects of yourself, not only are they here for this 3D experience, experiencing through you, obviously, and growing through you, but many of them, and I feel a lot of people from uh, being from Cassiopeia, are actually here to assist. Absolutely. So I kind of feel like they showed up and were like, all right, I'll take that one. I'll take that one, you know? And they basically kind of sorted out, all right, there's another light worker. There's another a light warrior. Let's go and help them. I feel like they have kind of like an overseer uh, type of position. So in your interactions with them, what are some of the things that you feel are, is the most pertinent? I have observed what you just mentioned. That mm -hmm. is the only dimension and the only race that I have observed um, royal habitat, royal buildings, mm. like in... Uh, in the movie that I am now forgetting, like in Thor, where you have okay, yes. that Asgard. Asgard, that royal city, the beautiful uh, construction, the beautiful structures, and they're transparent and they're multicolored, they're rainbow colored, and depending on who you're interacting with, um, gives you a different type of color. Right. Sometimes you get the entire spectrum. I, I process. Uh, frequency through color and so sometimes Cassiopeian would come completely white with shimmering rainbow light to mm -hmm. them. Sometimes they have a specific color in the royal ones, the ones that are incarnating into a lot of uh, super noble people mm -hmm. here on earth, they would have this purplish bluish hue to them and it's always that nobility that they carry, that always that royal signature mm. they are indeed super evolved and super high frequency yes, they, they are, are indeed yes. they just recently started showing up 
on Earth. They were not here hanging out when when humanity was going through all. I don't the... remember any Cassiopeians here during the medieval times. So yeah, like I, I exactly. Was, they're like, nah, right. I'm yeah. good on all that. Yeah, but they're definitely here for the Great Transition. And they were saying because I channel and interact with them, they often say, yeah, you know, I held off to incarnate or be associated with any human reality until human reality became capable of interacting with our mm -hmm. frequency and so when they do come into human incarnations or as guides into human reality they have to go through transition they have to go through calibration of the soul because yes. the frequency is so high that they are not able to directly incarnate into the human density yes they they drop in density through a number of other incarnations then they show up but they still remain maintain that connection yes with the original soul flow and so here they have predisposition towards beauty beauty is the main focus symmetry Symmetry, Symmetry, beauty. So beauty expressed in any way or form is the Cassiopeian way. So you might find them, talking about symmetry, you might mm -hmm. find them as architects mm -hmm. coming up with incredible new structures that are not only breathtakingly beautiful. Amazing linguists, singers, writers, anything that's very, that creates, anything, any job occupation that creates beauty through creativity and right. viewing through a certain type of lens. And they explained to me that human heart, no matter how broken, how harsh, how unawoken they are, the humans still have the ability to experience beauty. Yes. The beauty is the universal language that moves every person regardless of who they are, where they're at, mm -hmm. and it elevates frequency. And yes. so the Cassiopeians come in to elevate frequency through beauty. And like I started saying, that is this could be through architecture. This mm -hmm. could be through artistic expression. This could be through the person being super artistic themselves. Yes. Even through food. And recently I had a channeling with them where they mentioned that even on food, and you would think, oh, food is so 3D, right? But uh, there's some pretty amazing executive chefs out there and some sous chefs that make some pretty magical, delicious uh, meals out there. Uh, very much so. Right, and so they said that when the humans see beauty, and we're talking about more... Or if you, or if you work at Subway. <laughs> sandwich artist. All right. <laughs> we're talking about more down-to-earth uh, yes. level here, right? The down-to-earth normal human being would see something that is phenomenally beautiful, and then they can eat it? That actually gets... Is yes. even easier than just the regular expressions of beauty. So artists, mm -hmm. designers, architects, even some real estate agents that know how to match the the uh, building with the function yes. in the highest possible capacity. So this is what I have observed so far. This is what they're dropping on me right now as far as relationships. Check this out. Have you guys ever been younger? <laughs> Maybe in a bar or a club, <laughs> and you're talking to somebody, and um, you know it could be whatever age that is, but there's something inside of you that goes, mm, "Not him," or mm, mm. "Not her." Could be a Cassiopeian on your stream that has a little of that royal Sakes. elegance, like, "Yeah, I don't think you should take that home." So back to the, the the deal about it is truly some of these beings are here to oversee, but. You can feel some of their mannerisms mm -hmm. come through you in your normal day to day. Like, where right. does that come from? Well, you could have a very high royal Cassiopeian version, female or male, viewing through you, going, "Honey, I can see your timeline. That's not yeah. going to assist you right. in your evolution. That might have you pull off the freeway and uh, turn onto a side street for about six years of hard pain." <laughs> some coyote ugly and later you'll realize i was right right there at the junction point when you met that person what i'm trying to express truly from my heart is the reflection of going through the 3d actions with the higher levels of consciousness is paramount because in life what my sister and i are trying to teach you with interacting with your higher selves is we're teaching you how to play chess so instead of seeing one move ahead imagine being a multi-dimensional being that can see four to five six seven moves ahead yeah. So you would go, well, I could choose this or choose this. You might lose a pawn, lose a pawn. But 
If you know how to play chess against your environment, against the reality, against the density here, you never really get too um, over emotional. They're very balanced, sound beings. Yep. They're not like, you're never going to see a Cassiopeian going, Yahoo! And like <laughs> drinking a six pack of beer <laughs> off road. Like, there's plenty of other races that do that, and we'll get into that species, but they're not like, yeah, boy, hit the mattress. Woo Don't listen to these people, Ricky. You're a winner got the gift. Always remember, if you ain't first, you're last. It's not, the Cassiopeians aren't like Talladega Knights, okay? We'll get to those species as Nordics out there, but what I'm getting to is some of that elegance and uh, some of that grace comes from them, and we're very blessed to have them assisting us in this Ascension program. Was there anything else you'd like to share, sister? Yes, I have observed that mm. they are always connected to the ones who are incarnated into Earth, mm. but they always express that they've waited for a while until mm -hmm. that person evolved through the Yahoo or, the or whatever, they evolved through the a, the uh, incarnational pitfalls. I personally like the Yahoo. I mean, I do. <laughs> I like to ride horses. I'm like a space cowboy. I got the hat. I, I do things. Okay. So they express the joy of reconnecting that stream. They often say, uh, "We're so grateful that you are now ready to reconnect." I'm, with your like, I'm getting a visual of like a tango. They're more oh, like right, yes. in a ballroom, yeah. and you're like locked eyes with your partner, and, and the music right. hits like tango, like Cassiopeia, like dun, 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 yeah. like they're they're in it with like the higher level, like enjoying partying. But it's like sophistication. Exactly. There's a level of sophistication. Sophistication is the word. And they also, I've observed, incarnate with other species that serve Tango. them in Cassiopeian realm. Cassiopeian realm is royalty asserted by other species that mm -hmm. serve as advisors and also yes. as protectors. Yes. And so very often you would see Cassiopeian incarnate into this density with like a couple of Lyrans, for example, that are serving them at that space in right. their royal castle. And all of a sudden you hear you will have a woman with two cats that are following her everywhere. As far as a hierarchy hierarchy function on the left-hand side, obviously on the Earth Alliance love side, what dimension do you think Cassiopeians are most likely call home or the most comfortable with interacting with? I would say, oh, which home? dimension would you call? I would, I would say above thirteen for sure, mm -hmm. but I really am not exactly sure. What I know for sure is mm -hmm. that they are the highest frequency currently available for the ones incarnated on Earth to interact with. Wow, that's some high level stuff. Yeah, that's super high level stuff. So when they express that, whoa, finally, you went through uh, amnesia on Earth and you went through this and that mm. and all these incarnations to drop on Earth and now you're moving back and you stream and mm. here you are, we're, we embrace you because it's been forever since we've been able to really interact with you. So when that happens, that means that the person has really done his work here on Earth or their work here on Earth Absolutely. and they're ready to reconnect to that level that's the highest level presently available as far as I know. I'm a little preferable to the Lyrans. <laughs> we shall talk about that later. But, you know, with you guys interacting and in dream time and requesting, I think it's an amazing gift. If you are from Cassiopeia, you guys have similar things in your birth chart of Cassiopeians. And obviously, if you guys have the amazing ability to communicate with your higher self that happens to be there, we just wanted to share a little more insights on how awesome you are. All right, up next... The Centurions. Eyes close and dreams go free. Got an angel next to me. Hold me close so I can breathe.